Peter, we're here in a FEI HQ ahead of the FEI Junior Cup on Sunday. How exciting is it to be here and obviously looking ahead to the final? Yeah, really excited. Uh, really looking forward to it now. It's been a kind of a long month build up since the semi final against Pike. So um, just ready to go now. Obviously, had the Intermediate Cup final as well last year. It was a, an unbelievable day against Rockmount. Came out on the losing end of that. What have you learned from that big game experience from last year? Um, it's kind of hard to put your finger on it. Uh, Obviously, massively disappointing uh, on a day. I think, well, I feel that we probably missed our opportunity. We we should have probably won it on the day, but uh, I think it just gave us a hunger to get back to that uh, stage of a national competition again. And thankfully, we were able to come back this year. It really rallied support for the club. Great following down in Sligo. Is it really? We really felt that in the the week leading up to now. What, of course, is the Junior Cup final? Yeah, the support's amazing. Um, I think. It, as you say, the support in Sligo last year was unbelievable. Many people travelled. We'll be hoping for some of the same now in Galway on um, Sunday. But uh, in terms of the whole community is getting behind us and you see the excitement really starting to build. People have flags up. They're all out in their new gear and stuff. So, no, it's great. Obviously, the Junior Cup is a different competition to, to progress through. To get to two back-to-back -back national finals, though, is some achievement. What does that tell you about the group of players? So, yeah, strong resilience. I know that's for one. Um, I think... Getting to where we got last year and maybe not getting somewhere, it gave us more of a hunger to get back there again. Mm. Um, and we set our stalls out from the start of the year. You know, we always sit down and talk about what we want to achieve in that year, and that was right up there at the top. Um, and thankfully, it came to fruition, yeah. You've only conceded one goal in this year's competition. That's quite, a, quite an incredible record. What's been the secret to that? Um, I don't know. We're, just very, we're very ruthless, both in defence and attack. Um, Anytime we can see the goal, we're extremely disappointed, and it's something even comes to training, it's very competitive. Um, we always set our spells up to keep a clean sheet, not that we're a defensive team or a negative team, we've got serious attacking power as well. But in any game, you can keep a clean sheet and give your attackers the best possible opportunity to get a goal and get you through a game. And finally, I suppose, looking at the semi final opposition, the likes of Pike Rovers have recently got to the stage of the uh, competition as well. Does that give you a real confidence that you can actually go and one further than last year and win the competition. Yeah, it does indeed, 100%. And we've come through a couple of really tough games, really good sides in this competition. And um, yeah, no, we're looking forward to it. Um, feeling confident, feeling ready to go. And hopefully come Sunday now, maybe get a wee bit of the green and lift us over. Well, good luck to you. Thank you very much.